In this video, I'm going to talk about the results of multi-temporal in analysis for monitoring the spatial temporal variation of caldera deformation of Miyakejima volcano, Japan. I'm Yuji Himematsu from National Research Institute for Earth Science and Disaster Resilience, Japan. Miyakejima volcano is one of the active volcanoes in Izuboni Arc in Japan which is located about 180 kilometers southward away from Tokyo. The summit caldera was formed by a previous eruptive episode in 2000. The caldera floor is inaccessible due to steep caldera wall and the ejection of volcanic gas or steam from an active fumarole on the southern edge of the caldera floor. GNSS data have been reported continuous inflation of the whole region of the island with a peak on the south western part of the island. And we investigate means of quasi east-west and quasi-vertical displacement component using PARSA data in 2006 to 2011 and the PARSA 2 data in 2014 to 2019. The special characteristics of displacement in each component are almost consistent with the continuous GNSS data except for the caldera floor. And we can find the caldera contraction with substance on the south and the caldera floor in both PARSA and the PARSA 2 data. This slide shows the north-south and east-west cross-section of the quasi-vertical displacement component crossing over the center of the caldera floor. And we can find the PARSA Quasi vertical component reveals both a major peak of substance on the center of the caldera floor and a minor peak of substance on the southern edge of the caldera floor. However, a peak of substance derived from PARSA 2 data located only on the southern edge of the caldera floor as we plot red triangles. As I mentioned before, there is an active humoral with emission of volcanic gas or steam on the southern edge of the caldera floor. And actually, um, the center of caldera floor is an initial position of caldera crops due to the previous eruptive episode in 2000. So we expect the special characteristics of caldera contraction varied from the concentric pattern to the north-south asymmetric pattern during the observation period of PARSA data. Next, we investigate when the spatial pattern of caldera contraction varied. We show the time series of line of sight change on both the center and the southern edge of the caldera floor in each observation track. The time series on left side are derived from PARSA data. An upper panel in each observation track shows the time series of line of sight change on the center of the caldera floor, and the bottom one shows on the southern edge of the caldera floor. And we can find the deceleration of line of sight change on the center of the caldera floor in 2008 to 2009, while the acceleration of line of sight change on the southern edge of the caldera floor in 2008. Nine. Therefore, the spatial pattern of caldera contraction varied from the concentric pattern to north-south asymmetric pattern in 2008 to 2009. The asymmetric pattern has been going on as we show the time series of PARSA2 line of sight change on the right side. In the future, we try to construct models to interpret the uh, physical mechanism of the spatial variation of caldera contraction. Thank you for watching.